This is that engine in the 4104. It's got lots of little upgrades on it. He's got a air dryer on it, spin on oil filters, fuel filters. It's got an upgraded fan. It doesn't have a shroud, but it's got more blades on that fan. And he said that the hub has been replaced from the rubber kind that fails. Still got the air shutters on it. It's pretty original. It looks clean. He said it fires right up like nothing with 15 year old fuel in it. That's how they are. So here is his toy that he bought to run the town. Just in case. <laughs> How, how many kilowatts? 180. 180 kilowatts. 440 volt three phase. 440 three phase. Used to run a ski resort. <laughs> 671. That is awesome. How many hours are on? The, there's a. It's supposed to be 70 hours on the, on the rebuild. 70 hours on the rebuild. <laughs> I would believe them because this type of thing they keep really good records on and mm -hmm. just just this piece of wire to hook it up weighs about 400 pounds yeah. <laughs> literally it took three of us to set it on the tongue <laughs> I know. So will those liars, wires be live if you start it or? <laughs> no, because that's just going on the test and there's there's all kinds of switches and stuff. Stuff that's got to be activated. Got it. Thinking a lie. You scared me a little bit when you hit that. I saw these wires <laughs> laying over here. And I'm like, holy. Yeah. Well, those, those aren't hooked up on either end. Oh, so. got it. <laughs> okay. That's better. <laughs> and this thing is so heavy. They've got, got three different trailer jacks on it to hold it up. I bet it weighs a lot. Just the frame of what is there is heavy. Yeah. And then look at the Plus frame the, under the engine. There's a foot tall, yeah. at least. More like 18 inches. There's a lot of steel. There's a 200 gallon fuel tank underneath that. <laughs> What'd you use to put it up here, up the hill? Back it up with your truck? Uh, Suburban? A one ton oh. Ford. Three, F-350 diesel, and it didn't like it. I bet. <laughs> and you see see the boards underneath the tires? Uh -huh. when, when we put it, started coming off the gravel, it just started going down, <laughs> just sinking. It's like, oh, pull it forward again. <laughs> oh, this thing is so awesome. Okay, we're going to chalk this one up to somebody's really smart because on this, if you open this door all the way, somebody put this on there and you just pull it out Oops. and then it holds the door open. If you've ever been in a bus, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is the 4104 here. Very stock driver's area, which is the comfy seat. It's an air ride, I'm assuming. I don't believe so. No? No. Nope. It's just really that high? Yep. Uh, it's not for fat guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep, so. Oh, that's the aluminum that they got yep, in here? Oh, that's nice and thick, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's about two grand worth. It's pretty open in here. Yeah, it's it's not a bad Is it okay to walk on this? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I don't know as I need the bathtub if I was going to keep it, but... Oh, they actually have a bathtub. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of a lot of space to donate for that. Mm -hmm. It's got California compliant electric. Put a lot of money into that. We have uh, 
there an aqua hot on it, or was that just from the engine heat that was down there? Because of that heater box over yeah. there? Yeah. Or just electric, maybe? I think that's... I actually assumed it was just like a suburban heater. I never okay. looked any closer. It could be. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> I just yeah, I just assumed it was a propane furnace. I saw I saw the water things, but that goes to the tub. Oh, I gotcha. didn't even think it was hot water. Gotcha. Used to have a washer dryer combo, and they converted it to a just a closet. They have a lot of storage in here. Mm-hmm. It's got a shitter in here, yeah, I assume. The rest of the head there. Yeah. That's not dated at all. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not nah, at least. <laughs> you want to talk about dated? I'm pretty sure this is the first microwave. You set your temperature. Is, is it called a range or a radar range or no? Microwave. Microwave oven. oven. I think the first one's good radar range. I think. With automatic chef. Uh, yes. But I like the yeah, that's set a nice temperature. Style. <laughs> yeah, how does that work? <laughs> it turns on. I know that much. <laughs> I like hit the button, stood over here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, I might, it's possible I'd want to have kids in them. So, bridge looks nice. Yeah, I have no idea if it works or not. Is it a propane one as well? It looks like maybe. Yeah, it's a Norcold, so yeah. it's at least two way. Every cupboard on this thing has hydraulic struts, inside and out. <laughs> I've never seen those little baby ones Neither like that. <laughs> Have you seen the, the level it suspension? Yep. Yeah, that's that's pretty common. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of buses I work on have that. That's nice for the campgrounds. You can get level as long as you right. don't have any air. If you got an air leak, though, it's no good. Right. I almost wonder if that's where the air leak is, too, for that corner. Could be. Because it doesn't seem to quite function the way it should. I don't know if the battery's still up on that jetting or not. I haven't started it this year. Nope, battery's dead. It's got a nice how many kilowatt diesel generator? I think it's I think it's eight. It's pretty nice. Yep, and it's it must be two twenty because this bus has got fifty amp service. Oh wow! And it runs runs. Pretty smooth for having 15 year old fuel on it. <laughs> wow, it is a cold blooded old bitch. <laughs> So here's a trick, okay? If you come here and you hold this in the off position and go ahead and crank it. It didn't work. <laughs> Normally if you hold the fuel in the off position and you crank it over like that, the fuel is cold, spraying cold fuel in every cylinder. So now you can just turn it over, which is building up heat from the cylinders moving up and down without mm. introducing the cold fuel. Ah, gotcha. And usually that'll work, but that did not work. I never tried to start it cold from back here, but I can't imagine that being any different. Yeah. Okay. It has never taken this long to start. It was cold last night. It was in the 50s. Yeah. You might not have. They're used to Florida. Um, but, so if we take some WD-40. Spray that in your starting fluid port, just a little bit. WD-40 is way less hard on it than ether. Um, and it'll probably start right up. You don't have WD-40? balls <laughs> no they don't make those i'm not sure if that really went in the hole but go ahead and try it if it didn't we'll have you spray it again so oh there's like a oh gotcha yeah that's right that just shows you i've never ethered it okay give that a try Give it one more little spray. 
It's gonna go. It's there. Yeah, it did. That, it that stuff doesn't spray out right away either. It's like it's a that's a shitty can. There you go. I guess it, yeah, it was down in the forties last night. So. Yeah. Alright, so Dan is going to be selling this beauty that is pretty awesome. What year is it? It's an 88 Suburban uh, fuel injected 454, uh, four wheel disc brakes, got a uh, brand new uh, 700R4 transmission in it, um, 10 inches of lift, suspension lift. Um, it's got. Uh, Train, train horns underneath that <laughs> run to a run to an onboard air compressor that and the, the train horns say uh union pacific across the back of them so they came off a off a train engine <laughs> um needs needs paint and, and upholstery basically and what are you asking for it 6500 6500 bucks Can I get a shot of the inside? Is it unlocked? Yeah. Who wouldn't want this? Seats, seats about ten. It's got third, third, got a folding third row seat in the back. You do have that. It's not in there now. Yeah, it's, so. uh, yeah it's, okay. It's, it's not. Oh, it's not. It's in. just sitting in there. I don't have it hooked up at the moment. This is the air tank, it's not nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have cleaned it up if I'd have known we were taking a video. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. It's got a couple little rust spots on it, but nothing nothing major. Nothing that got to cool. it yet. I see, got a little, see the bottom a little of that door. In this door. And one that you can I saw a little hole put your here. Finger, finger through right here, and that's pretty much it. Did you lift it or did you have? No, no, I did it the easy way. <laughs> did a little checkbook. Checkbook. <laughs> so that's cool. How much? <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Got 30, 35 on it now. Um, those are aluminum, 12 inch wide wheels. Had 38s on it and uh, Michigan didn't like that so much. It was a little too tall with the 38s on it. So. Which fit fine, but all right. Let him know if you're interested. He's, he might trade it for a Jeep. Yeah, I want to want to find a, a Jeep Wrangler to pull behind my bus. So <laughs> that's that that would be perfect world for me to trade it for a Jeep that's ready to hook on a tow bar. That would be cool. And if you wanted to get a hold of Dan, he also does. Printing, vinyl graphics, sign printing, all that kind of stuff. Really cool stuff. So if you're in Michigan and you need something like that, or you want to order a mail order, he can hook <laughs> right, you up. There you go. What else do you do? You do t-shirts and stuff too, don't you? Yep, do a lot of screen printing. Uh, pretty much any kind of signage. Um, business cards, flyers, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of uh, destination signs lately. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have to measure yours for uh, Boudreaux's. Oh, okay. So I can figure something out. So I'm assuming this is a 1932 Buick? Yep, 1932 Buick Coupe. Series 50. Series 50 Coupe, and it is beautiful. It's got a 78 horsepower straight eight. And this is not for sale <laughs> until he's dead, and then... <laughs> and then somebody else can sell it if they want to. Can I open this door? Oh, it's solid. Doing better. 
this thing. It's a pretty one. This lovely little manual. I love these now, is this something that your father restored? Is that my dad or? and I did a, oh, did a frame off you restoration and, oh, wow. about 16 years ago. Um, he got to take the best of show at car shows for about three years and then he passed. So oh, man. It's kind of a memoriam thing now. That's awesome. That's why it's not for sale, so don't even ask. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but what is for sale? <laughs> Is he's got Onan? That's that's a gas one there. That one's gasoline, that and that was running when it was taken out. Yeah, that one, that one was running. I got. I probably still have the video he sent me of it running before he pulled it. Okay, and then yeah. this one is a propane one. Yeah, you know, it's it's the same generator with a propane kit on it, and that one was in my bus, and it just quit it one was, day. Was it the engine running and the head pro the the head wasn't working is that what it was or? well it, it wouldn't run at all and when it when it quit it wouldn't start anymore it, it would fire momentarily when you let off the start switch it was the only time it would run at all but all the research told me that it's actually the generator side of it that died um so i bought this other one with the intention of putting the propane kit on it and then i ended up with a better generator in the middle of all this so, so what, do you, what do you want for these two together as a uh, pair a couple hundred bucks a couple hundred bucks yep. and there's you haul it away exactly <laughs> and there's extra exhaust pieces and... <laughs> yeah cool but the buick is the the awesome thing in here man it's cool Killing you? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, did he turn the batteries on? Turn the battery on, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I have one sitting down there, but I got one 4D hooked up. Oh, yeah. I really need some cables to hook the other one. Yeah. So it's a quarter of the battery it should have. <laughs> But it starts so quick, I don't have to crank it, so I'm not really too worried about it. Goodness, It was really cold last night. <laughs> and those battery that battery is really low. <laughs> Let's throw a battery charger on it. Yep. All right, so we threw the battery charger on it and if it turns over faster, it's gonna fire right away. It's just cranking too slow.
ja. Yeah, let's show them that generator. Oh yeah, you don't have to start it, but yeah.